What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Today we're focusing on the uh, Los Angeles Kings acquiring Robin Regeer from the Buffalo Sabres in exchange for two second round picks. You know, Regeer is what he is. Uh, he fills a void left with Green and uh, Mitchell being out of the lineup. Green should be back at some point at the end of this month. And we don't, I don't think we'll see Mitchell this year. And, uh, you know, I think it's a good pickup for LA. I think they overpaid for him. Uh, I think Buffalo could use those two second round picks, and they will, obviously. And, uh, you know, I would give it up, you know, second and a third for him, but, I, you know, two seconds, you know, they must be that desperate, you know, looking at a possible series against Chicago or Anaheim where you're going to need some tenacity on the back end to counter Taves and Kane and get Slaff and Perry, which, you know, what you got to do. And, you know, like I said, Green should be back at the end of the month, but that's not a certainty. And, like I said, I don't think we'll see Willie Mitchell this year, so you got to go out got to get some tenacity if you want to defend the Stanley Cup, and uh, Dean Lombardi plans on doing just that. Uh, Regeer played for Sutter and Calvary, went to the Stanley Cup Finals with in 2004, um, you know, against Tampa Bay, and was one of the Flames' best defensemen, or one of the best defensemen, period, in those playoffs. And I think, uh, you know, bringing that veteran experience, that locker room presence, and a team that's already got a solid core nucleus that's won the Stanley Cup, and is looking to repeat, I think he'll fit right in, just go to work right away. He's the guy that, um, you know, plays the game hard, plays the game right, won't do much for you offensively. Uh, he's got one goal in the last two years. Um, career high in goals, by the way, it's five. Uh, achieved in 2007, 2008 with the Flames, but uh, you know, in a career, I think his career, oh, six, excuse me, and a career high in points was 26 that year. Um, you know, it's a guy that overcame a serious injury to make the NHL. Was once traded uh, for Theo Fleury or part of a package for Theo Fleury uh, and Chris Dingman too, Dinger. Um, but you know, give you some size. He's six foot three um, and can definitely. You know, just play his game. That's that's the best way to describe Regeer. Anyone that's watched him knows what he can do. And, uh, you know, he's going to make L.A. tougher to play against. And I think that'll be the, um, you know, that could be what gets him over the hump with the back-to-back -back Stanley Cups. I mean, I, I think there's a deal to be made for L.A. But, you know, it's a step in the right direction. And, like I said, in a seven-game series, going against Taves and Kane and Perry, or, you know, Perry and Getzloff, you're going to need a guy that can go out there and play physical and uh, knock him off the puck and make their lives miserable. And uh, Regeer will do just that for him. So, like the acquisition, thought they gave up a little much for him, but is what it is when it comes to the trade deadline. That's all in this episode of the Power Play with CJ on the LA Kings acquiring Robin Regeer from the Buffalo Sabres. Stay tuned for more episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.